Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today's video is different because it's on the rabbits. So today I am going to be giving the rabbit shed a makeover but first I thought I would section off Dottie's outdoor run um, and pop Tallulah in there so obviously they can't get to each other they can sniff in between the bars and things but I've set up a little area so that all three bunnies can interact through the wire I really would eventually like Dottie and Tallulah to bond so this is going to be the start of their bonding process by having time together between the bars now Nala my little black bunny was very excited by this um she's kind of a dominant rabbit um, and she's okay with rabbits through the bars but she can be quite aggressive otherwise and Dottie, the little brown and white one, um, she kind of gets quite scared. But Tallulah, being little Tallulah, my little white one, was absolutely fine with it. She was loving the attention from the rabbits. She was loving being in a new environment. So my plan today is to keep her in here because it's right next to the shed. And then while I'm painting and everything, I can keep an eye on them um, and just see how they interact and what they do. So... She does have a little secure area. If Dottie really wanted, she could jump over the top of it. Um, but she won't because she's really lazy and she's not that clever. But as I said, I will be supervising them at all times. But today's video is mainly going to be about me giving the shed a makeover. Because Tallulah's shed is looking really shabby. It needs painting. It needs a lot doing. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so Tallulah's got water in here now. She's got her little tunnel she's got her little house to hide in if a the dog comes b she gets scared of anything um and c for shade because it is very sunny today so that's gonna keep her cool she's even got this little bit out here that she can go and hide in because she likes little places like that so she's got all this um dotty can come and go as she pleases i'm literally around the corner so i can keep an eye on them but to be fair, they've been absolutely fine through the wire so far. I've included a few more bricks for security purposes. Um, that This really isn't going anywhere. Um, but yeah, we've included bricks just to make sure. But she's loving it. Nala is chilled. Look at that bunny. She is so chilled. So the first thing I wanted to do was to give the outside of the shed a new look of paint. So throughout this video I'll be using my two favourite colours of paint and if you haven't seen from my videos already I always use the Cupronal Garden Shades in Willow which is the green and Country Cream which is obviously the cream one. These are kind of like our farm colours and just the colours that I kind of use for everything because I really like this combination. Um, it works really well. The paint the kind of like blue tinted paint that's on the shed at the moment isn't that shade um it isn't the willow it's actually a wilkinson's one because uh, i couldn't get that at the time so i will be going over that with the willow um so it'll probably end up being a little bit more blue than normal but i'm absolutely fine with that just because it just really needed kind of a bit of a facelift it was just looking so dated um and a little bit shabby okay so that is the outside done and well painted so now it's time to do the inside so this is what the inside currently looks like she did have a pink house there but um it's in the room with her so this is what it currently looks like just a quick little before so we have half a mesh door um and then this is the inside so this i need to paint um because I don't want just a wooden looking door. So I'm quite happy with the inside colour. So it's actually blue. Um, so I don't mind this. So I might paint this hutch the same colour maybe. Maybe cream. Just a bit of contrast. I don't really know yet. Um, this needs painting. This could do with another coat really. Especially like on the flooring and things. Um, but we shall see what I do and what I get done today.
So it's actually another day now because I ran out of time to do all of the painting. So this time I popped Tallulah out in her outdoor run on the grass instead of putting her with the bunnies. I will still be continuing to bond her um, but I'm going to do it in stages. So there are a few bits and pieces that need finishing off including the hutch. Okay, so now inside the shed we have this hutch. So this hutch is looking very shabby. It definitely needs a new coat of paint. Um, the I've taken the ladders out of it and I've brushed it all down. So now I just need to scrape off any like dry little bits of poo like this um, because I'm going to paint it. I should really sand it and then paint it but I'm a bit restricted in terms of time um, because obviously I have to upload a video every day and I want this up for tomorrow. So I'm going to do that all over and then I'm going to get painting. So I decided to paint the flooring of the hutch in the willow colour because the hutch was quite stained and I thought this would cover it better than the country cream. I was also running out of the country cream colour um, so I kind of wanted to save that and not use it on the flooring which is obviously quite a big area. So this is the first coat obviously. Um, I am going to put a few coats on just because it covers well but it needs a couple of coats for protection and um, I don't want like to lose scratching it off or anything um, so I'm going to give it like two or three coats probably and so for the bedroom section which was the most stained I did the exact same but I painted the door green as well and I also painted the walls um, and gave that a few coats so now that the inside is all painted and looking much better I'm going to give the outside a quick tidy up just because it has been chewed, it's got a few marks and things on it just to brighten it up and make it look like brand new again. So with the outside of the hutch it was really just a case of covering up any nibble marks or any parts that it got kind of dirty. So I started by going over the bite marks because um, you have to put quite a lot of paint in that just so that it like covers the entire surface. And then I just quickly went over all of the external parts of the hutch um, just so that it's kind of brightened it up and obviously gave it that extra layer of protection. So it's just started absolutely chucking it down. Um, I'm gonna just quickly run out and close this. Oh, oh, it's very wet. Um, need to bring these in. So yeah, it's gone very April showers on us. 
um, and just started literally chucking it down. Um, so I had to go and rescue Tallulah from the outdoor run. So she's now in here like, what the hell have you done to my shed? Um, and I didn't plan on her being in here yet, so I still got the paint and everything out. Um, so I need to deal with that. But yeah, it's just started really raining. I think it might just be a little one-off shower. We weren't forecast any rain. But I need to drill some bits, so I don't really want to in here. My next task is to take this window out because I want to mesh the windows instead of having glass because it can get really hot in here. Um, but that's going to depend on the weather. Okay, it's stopped raining now, so, well, it's kind of spitting a little bit. So I've just put Tallulah, um, her little, I don't even know what that is, her little house outside because I know she'll go inside that if it starts raining again. But I really want to get this window done, so... I don't want to waste any more time. So for some reason, no matter what I did, I couldn't get the light setting right on this. So sorry it's dark. But basically I took the screws out that were holding the window in place and then proceeded to kind of leave that out. I didn't expect the entire thing to kind of be one part. So then I used the window to measure out how much wire I needed to colour the hole. So I've decided to do this just so that it keeps the shed a bit cooler and increases air circulation because that shed can get really warm during summer and then during winter the glass pane will be going back in to keep the warmth in. So all I did was measure it to size and then it was time to staple gun the wire in. Again I was struggling with lighting because of the difference in lighting from outside and inside um, and I still haven't quite worked out the settings on this camera yet but I just staple gunned it because um, I find that's really easy. Okay so there we go we now have a window put in with this mesh um, and I've staple gun around the edges. I couldn't really get it to focus very well because of the light difference um, as you can see it's kind of a bit dark but so as you can see it's all staple gunned on um, so now we have a nice cool window that will allow air in um, that is obviously safe because it's galvanised mesh um, and it's secure and I'm going to keep that window to put back in during winter because obviously when it's cold in winter we're going to want an actual window in, so I'll be keeping that safe somewhere. Um, it's literally chucking it down, which is going to make it difficult to finish doing the shed. But um, Tallulah's okay, she's just over there. I don't know if you can see her in her little house. Um, she's not too bothered about the rain, apparently. Goodness, it is absolutely chucking it down, and all the horses are out without rugs. Um, Tallulah's in her house so she's okay but wow. So due to the weather I've had to bring Tallulah in, um, she doesn't really care but I've had to bring this hutch in as well that I painted so I think I'm going to actually have to leave this here guys because there's not really much more I can do in this weather. Um, yeah so I might just make this like part one and I'll finish it off how I want to another time um, but for now I just want to get Tallulah in and settled so this is like the kind of finished it needs another coat but I can't do that with the bunny in here but this is what the um, hutch now looks like I'm obviously not going to open it up because there's still wet paint so I don't want Tallulah to go in it but this hutch is now nice and dry and I think it looks so much better um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this set up or what, but we shall see. And yeah, so the floor area, I just feel like she's got more floor space now. Um, she's quite happy, she's just bopping about on those. And she now has her new window that will now allow lots of fresh air in, so hopefully the shed won't get quite as warm. Not the way I wanted to end it, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And keep an eye out for part two because when I finally finish it, so like all of this needs painting and everything um, and I've got a few little DIYs coming in here as well. So once I've done all that, I will then be doing my part two. So you'll then get to see the finished Rabbit Shed makeover. So guys, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow at 12. And Tallulah says bye.